All right, welcome to Cabin Lake Baits. Today I'm gonna to make a very easy and simple musky and pike spinner. It's gonna have a number six French blade, five and a half inch tube, any size would work, any color. Three split rings that are rated at 40 pounds, a bag of hollow beads, a clevis .040 wire, two, one aught treble hooks, a crimp, two eighth ounce lead weights that make up to a quarter ounce. You could just use one quarter ounce, half ounce, do it heavy as you want, as light as you want. And some circle nose pliers and some snips. All right, let's get started. All right, so first thing that we're gonna do is take our wire with the needle nose or circle nose pliers, jewelry pliers, you can buy them at any craft store. Take it you know, about two inches up or so. Make sure you give yourself enough room to be able to twist it. Give it a bend. Go about just past 45. Twist it around till you're about right here. Keep going till you formed a nice loop there. And go ahead and twist it around. Oh, let's do two times. This will not fail on you. That right there is plenty. Go ahead and nip off that tag end. And let's get started with the next step. We're going to take this crimp. This crimp is a 0.055 inch diameter. Fits just around that. You're gonna wanna back that up there. I got one of your beads here. If I can get it. There we go. The goal is on this is with your weights. You got your crimp on there, you got your bead, and you got your weights. You're going to want to set that up so the tentacles are just barely past this down here. Because you're going to want your treble hook right in there. So we're going to go ahead and crimp that down. Like that. Crimp it down a little harder. So you got to... A little bit tighter connection there. And you're going to want to test to make sure your crimp is exactly where you want before you crimp it down any farther. Right about in there because after the split ring you want your hook just outside of that. All right, so that crimp's only job is to just keep this in place. You do not have to worry about any structural integrity. It's not holding the fish. The lure is not coming apart if it fails. Alright, let's go ahead and slide the tube on real quick here put your don't forget your metal bead because this the lead weight will slip right over your crimp without it try to get right in the middle mm, there we go slide it down all right Perfect. Oops. Kick that away. And next step, go ahead and twist this up. Give yourself about a quarter inch or so. So you have enough room to put some twists in the wire. Like that. Go ahead and get your nippers in there real close. Alright, on to the next step. So, next step, go ahead and just twist that wire up again. Real easy. Nip it off. You know the drill. 
Now we're gonna take our beads here. Take a few out. These are seven thirty seconds. Gold metal beads. They are hollow. You can use solid brass beads. They're a little heavier, probably more durable. I've never had these fail. Slide one more on there. We got six on there. It's gonna want to size your blade up. That looks about right. I'm gonna adjust so it's right about there. The blade on your clevis. Slide the blade down. See where that matches up. It's about perfect. I think we'll put one more. Go ahead and put one more bead on there. Yeah. There. That looks good. Do about oh, a half inch or so above that clevis. Bend it around. Give it a nice close nip. And the second part. Go ahead and take one of your split rings. It is easiest to do this with split ring pliers. You can use your fingernail if you want. I usually do, if I'm being honest. Put that on there. All you gotta do is just get in between the grooves there. Grab right a hold of it. There you are. Now you just gotta put hooks on it. Forget if I mentioned earlier, but these are one out treble hooks. They seem to fit the best for the size bait. Go a little bigger if you want. I wouldn't go any smaller. That's what I was mentioning earlier. You want that travel just outside the tentacles. Any farther up, and they'll get wrapped up in, get messed up. You don't want that. And we're going to throw that other travel hook right in here. There's a couple ways to do it. You could just attach it straight to that. Oops, sorry. You could just attach that to that clevis that you already have there or you could add this clevis it doesn't really matter for the sake of this video I'm just going to go ahead and throw it right on this clevis there you have it very clean very simple Pike, musky, bass, you name it. I've caught them all on it. It's small, but trust me, you can catch some big fish on this. Thanks for watching. Check us out on Instagram at Cabin Lake Baits.